Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here and welcome back to my Maneater 100% Achievement Guide Part 3 out of 3 plus the full walkthrough plus all of the collectibles So we basically in the last part we completed the game We got half of the golf collectibles Oh, hello Mr. Sperm, what you wanna do? Now see when sperm comes at you that fast, you really do want to get out of the way because that could end in just a dire, straight, sticky, disgusting mess of a situation. So just don't do it. Avoid sperm as best you can. Unless you put it on your face. Apparently, that makes your skin really soft. The sperm whale, you know, sperm whale skin stuff. Anyway, let me tell you what we've got <laughs> left to do in this particular... Uh, part of the game. There's literally not much left to do. We are going to grab the rest of the golf collectibles. Delicious. And then all we've got to do then is do the final two infamy rank um, bosses, battles, whatever you've been calling them, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I, I've only left it sort of until the end. Basically, the last two infamy uh, bosses, as you'll see, do have electric on the boats, just like Scaly Pete had it underneath. Uh, but they're a lot easier to kill. But for whatever reason, I left it this long. But that is literally all we've got to do. And the rest of the achievements will unlock like a st stack of falling cards. Falling house cards. You know how the saying goes. So anyway, for the... <laughs> just for the first couple of minutes then, we will be grabbing the rest of the golf collectibles. And then I shall be back. And we will enjoy the end of the game together. What an adventure it's been. You and me, me and you. Uh, I think we should get married. Shark is an animal of broad dietary. Cautious until the hunters grow bored. Magic shark under control. I believe those sewer lines need work. I've had campylobacteriosis, cryptosporidiosis, leptospirosis. Let me tell you, partner, that ain't no joke. Another shark hunt 
draws to a close. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean from shark attacks are actually quite high. A successful shark gun is traditionally celebrated with off-brand cinnamon with University sends their students out here every summer to study the reefs. That shit. The appetite of this shark is nearly insane. This recreation of the Titanic was so accurate 1,500 people died during its maiden voyage. Dollar draft, said Flamingo Jones. Predatory scavenger. And of course, also, what achievements we are going to get, we're going to be getting them for finding all of the landmarks. Um, also, I did lie a little bit earlier on. We do have Crawfish Bay, the collectibles in Crawfish Bay. There's only 10 nutrient caches and 10 licensed places to grab, and they're very, very easy. Um, but. I forgot about it and it kind of deflated me when I remembered, so apologies about that. Uh, so as soon as we do the gulf, we'll head over to Crawfish Bay, grab the rest of the collectibles, get every collectible related collectible achievement for collecting, and then, then we can do the infamy boss battles. <laughs> Solitary hunters. This protein supplement has zero additives.
These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. This instantized pro Shark demonstrates the importance of getting In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. A shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. I did it again I killed a great white Don't worry cuz I really don't give a shite There it is now Everything's complete Do you like my singing? Oh well beat on my meat Ha! <laughs> I'm a rhymer, I did not know it D Damn it again! Well then, so that is 100% of the gulf completely done now we need to head over to Crawfish Bay, the very um, forget it, forgettable Crawfish Bay, the where we were at the beginning of the game, of course, with our mother who got sliced open like a bloody cantaloupe or an antelope. Cantaloupe? Antelope? Anyway, she got sliced open. That is why we are now the Stoltman Shark of the Waters, but we're going to have to go to Fortic Bayou first um, because, sadly, we don't have the... Gratu over in Crawfish Bay. Like I said, there's only literally there's only ten of each left to get now. Ten nutrients and ten license plates. Sadly, after you again, once you get to level thirty, it seems like the nutrient caches are a bit pointless. And when you sort of fully upgrade and everything, unless you really wanted to go for hundred percent and completely one hundred percent upgrade everything, all your shadow armor and all your Bioshock armor and stuff like that. Then I take my hat off to you and I will give you £3.50. The way you want to get a luckless Master Tree 34 woman? That's what I was going with that. So apparently the shark doesn't want to go under there for some reason. So we're going to have to go through the grate. Which obviously makes sense. Because that is how you actually get there. Through the grate, here we go, Crawfish Bay, so once again, it's going to be the same sort of thing, it's a very small area, um, so just keep spamming that B button there anytime you can, so you get all the uh, question marks and collectibles coming up, or just follow the guide, or whatever, but once we are done with this area, finally, we uh, would have 100% completed every single region. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it The rapacious rover is always swimming.
This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if the... Shark is known to be a voracious, most orgiastic expression. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. Shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes. Now we're just about to fight a hammerhead. Now hammerhead sharks actually remind me of uh, Millwall fans. You know they sort of. Just want to nut you out, sunshine. They don't give a crap. They're just looking looking for a fight, and they just want to nut you the hell out, you know? Terrible, terrible Millwall accent there. Sorry, but that's what they remind me of. They just want to go up to someone and headbutt them. And that's exactly what a hammerhead shark does. So, I don't know if that's a compliment or not. I suppose so. If you want to be the hard man, then, yeah, big time. <laughs> Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible.
quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in And so this is it then. The emotional journey comes to an end. I hope we have enjoyed the journey together. The whole grind of the collectibles. Personally, I found the collectibles to be a little bit too much. But, you know, it was still a very, very enjoyable game. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's over. No more collectibles. Come on, bitch. Oh, yeah. Come on. Look on my sorry bows. Come on. Okay, I, I lied. Okay, uh, shall I start over? Uh, oh, it's it's an emotional journey. Um, uh, oh, look at this now. Hammerhead's ruining my day. I'm trying to say an emotional speech here, damn it. Okay, okay. Anybody else now? Swordfish, you want to go? Right, okay. Now let's try again. Um, it's been an emotional journey. Yada, yada, yada. Tears. Hope you've enjoyed. Blah, blah, blah. Ugh. Just wasn't as heartfelt as the other one, was it? But now, this should actually be <laughs> the, the final one. The last license plate. Finally, the collectibles are done. So now we can just go on and grind out the final two achievements. Which is basically just for killing the infamy boss uh, level 10s. Um, but that's it. We smashed out the all of the collectibles. So I hope... Like I said, I... You know, you might have just got them yourself, but I do hope that the collectibles guide at least helped out a little bit. Um, if not, then, well, wasn't that just a giant waste of time? <laughs> so, like I said, one thing that we've got to do now, we've got two achievements left, and they are both for basically just reaching Infamy level 10. Um, the other one is for getting 100% of all um, upgrades in the game, which you get automatically, of course, after you kill. Every boss, apex, infamy boss, etc., etc. So now what we need to get is a nice, a nice chunky stretch of water, something delicious, but somewhere uh, not where there are sperm whales and orca whales. So Sapphire Bay seems to be the key location for us. Now the only problem with these last two um, infamy bosses, like literally, we can just swim, uh, swim straight up, uh, find some boats, and flub them up but like I was saying the the only problem with these last two is um, it becomes a hell of a grind uh, it, it really doesn't go as easy as before so there we go just showing you what we've got left or what we should have left by now so again just just a case of destroying a couple of boats and waiting for the other guys to come now and again it's it takes more of a grind like it's still easy because you know we'll still be we'll still be doing our trick um, of just Dutch, Dutch, dodge, dip, diving, dodging our way into the boats. That's fine, um, but the the grind is a little bit more. The bar on the right hand side goes up a lot more slowly, but still it should only take around ten minutes, something like that. So let's just destroy this uh, these people's livelihoods here. They've saved up all their life for a yacht, and then we've just destroyed it because we want to be hunted so there we go then so like I said it's going to take about 10 15 minutes to get uh, uh, level 9 and then an extra set and then an extra sort of 10 15 minutes then to get your bar fully round for level 10 so you're still looking at about 30 35 minutes I'm afraid to finish the game but of course once again I have edited it edited it down some because uh, you don't really, you've probably had enough of me by now, so I don't really want to show you 30 minutes more of just attacking boats. We've all seen it, we all know what it's like. And what we're about to see is annoyance. So, as you can see, the infamy level, the infamy meter is around halfway. And that's it then. For some reason, they stop searching. So they're just like, 
Well, you know what? You've destroyed enough of our level 48 boats, so we'll stop searching. Which is just got and once again, that's just goddamn annoying because it just adds on an extra minute or two for nothing. Uh, so what you need to do then, again, we just have to find some more fishing boats. If you don't, if there are literally none about, just dive underwater, eat a fish or two, pop back up, and one should, a couple should spawn uh, around your general area. So that's just in case you can't see one. This is what we got to do, destroy a boat, kill some humans, and then they start attacking again until we get right round, and then the next two bunch of douchebags can appear. So obviously, same tack, literally same as we've always been doing. Dick, dick dive yourself into the boats, destroy them until uh, the next boss appears. And once again, it's annoying. Hopefully, it doesn't happen to you. But once again, we've gotten halfway around. And there's no boats, again. So we can kill all the hunter divers we want here. We can destroy anything else, but it's going to go back down, as you can see. Again, after another couple of minutes, it goes back down to searching. And it's just, again, it's another annoyance, especially when you just want to finish the game. <laughs> so, destroy another couple of boats, and then Captain Admiral Douchehat will appear. Still a pain in the ass to do, this extra little bit, but, you know... Have a celebratory drink on me. Sophisticated wildlife management has never been a priority. Oh, well, finally, you goddamn douchebag. I've been waiting for you. Kudder Percy Metcalf. Percy No Calf. Percy shit calf. Where have you... Oh, Commander. Of course. Of course CDR stands for Commander, not Kudur. Wow, don't I... S don't, <laughs> don't I feel a bit moronic right now. So you see all the electrics. He's going to start shooting torpedoes and stuff at you. It's kind of the same as Scaly Pete, but on a lot less um, intense level. Just keep attacking the boat. You can actually go underneath the boat, tail whip the electric from underneath the boat, and it'll stop in a couple of attempts, but it's li again, it's literally easier just to dick dodge your way into the boat, and that is how it is done. So now, we have got one more, and sadly the same is going to happen again, so we're going to keep being attacked until it gets around to halfway around level 9, they're going to stop searching, we got to search for more boats, go all the way around, we've got to stop, <laughs> they stop searching again, <laughs> it's, it's just a pain in the ass, but hey, we're done. We're almost done. is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. I really can't tell you the frustration of that happening. But here we go. Captain Robert Brunlitt. What a, what a badass hardcore name. Doesn't look very badass. Oh, especially since he disappeared then. All right, that was pretty badass. Some invisibility going on there. Congrats, bro. So, he's level 60, but again, that means absolutely piss all in this game, apparently. We're going to keep doing the same thing. Torpedoes and electric at you, and we're just going to keep dick dodging our way into the boat until it gets destroyed. Like that. It, literally, that... That was quicker than the last guy, so... Hooray! We have done it now! Well done, everyone. 
Well done. Congratulations. That is Man Eater. 100%. 1,000 out of 1,000. And look, I know that uh, you can do this without a guide. Obviously, it, it is, you know, easily enough. Which really, really means that I... Like, the appreciation for you watching this video, and if this guide actually did help at all in any way, it just makes it that much more special. So seriously, seriously, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for interacting with me. In terms of, you know, like I said, likes and comments and shares and absolutely everything. The comments always make my day, so thank you so much. God damn, I love you guys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that was it then. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, life cycle of a shark and how it goes. That is exactly how it goes in the ocean. Uh, in terms of, they, they also get the bone armor and shadow teeth as well. After knocking down landmarks and eating a thousand humans. <laughs> Science, bro. The ocean science is a strange and wondrous thing. <laughs> but, no, honestly, thank you so much. I really do hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed the guide as well. Uh, don't forget, of course, like I said, to like, comment, subscribe, and share as well. I would highly appreciate it. Don't forget, of course, to check out my socials as well. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, also Patreon as well. Which, by the way, a huge, massive shout-out to everyone on Patreon who continues to support the channel. You're an absolute bunch of legends. I love you guys, but that is that. So, I shall see you in the next one. Big love.